We're about to go to Palisades right now uh, and see the fire zone. Uh, the Palisades is basically a city adjacent to the Pacific Ocean. Um, and there's a lot of trees and brush and mountain ranges all around. So there was no concrete. Uh, so when the fire burned, all the brush around just took flame and passed the flames down to the houses. So right now, um, I think there's about 7,000 homes in the Palisades that got uh, burned completely to the ground and a couple thousand other that are just, you know, mildly damaged. Um, it's been about four months since the fire happened. So a lot of the debris has been cleared out, but we're going to go and try to find some, uh, you know, we're just going to go and see what's going on over there exactly. Um, once we get there, you'll see the fire zone. Uh, they won't let anybody into the fire zone right now because uh, it's uh, hazardous and they don't want a lot of people coming up because there's contractors working, people from the city working, so they don't want a lot of traffic. Um, but right now we have this pass that's going to give us access to get in. Um, this is a resident pass, but I'm a contractor. I'm an engineer, actually, but they gave me a contractor's pass. I'm an engineer, yes. I'm an engineer, and I have a lot of projects over there right now because a lot of people need to rebuild their homes. Um, so when they rebuild their homes, they need engineers, architects, contractors to work over there. And before we can work over there, we have to assess the structures. So we have to go and assess the structures and see what's going on. What kind of engineer are you? I'm a civil engineer practicing structural engineering. An architect is someone who's designing your house. Um, he's going to talk to the owner of the house and he's going to basically put on paper the owner's visions and give suggestions at the same time. So how tall, thank you so much. So how tall, uh, you know, it's going to be basic layouts of your house, where the bathrooms are going, where the rooms are, how tall it is. He's going to draw cross sections. He's going to give a whole package together of drawings to give to the city. Um, and the city is going to basically approve the drawings and you'll get a permit basically afterwards. And where do you come in? I come in as the architect's consultant. Come, let's get a... I, I come in as the architect's consultant. So the architect draws how the building is going to be, uh, what it's going to look like, and I draw how it's going to be built and run all the calculations for it. Um, so, so they need you to make sure the building is stable? They need me to design the structure of the building so the house won't fall down to the loads. Like earthquake loads, gravity loads, wind loads. We design the frame and run the calculations to make sure we build the house in the most efficient way possible so the house won't fall down. That's our role. And we provide construction drawings. Basically, basically, the way to see what we do, our drawings are, you know when you open up an IKEA box? and you have all the drawings inside the IKEA box of how to put the, the whatever you're buying together, we make those drawings of how to put the house together. And we give it to the contractor so you can build it. So the nuts and bolts of the house, that's what we draw. Military checkpoint's coming up right now. How's it going, guys? Oh, sir, you got your ID on you? Yeah. Good to go, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. All right, we're in the fire zone. We're officially in. Let's go. Let's see. This is the beginning of it. You'll see, like, the only things remaining are the chimneys, the things made out of... Anything that's made out of wood, burnt down. That's Concrete steel nice. remains. The steel is all bent and it's all warped because of all the heat. So this the whole this whole area is the fire zone. This right is all the fire zone. Okay. No traffic lights. Turned everything off. Um, originally, you know, like four months ago, five months ago, there was nothing. There was no power anywhere. But the first thing the the workers came and did was rebuild the power over here. Okay. So wow. now there's power again. There are some houses that are standing. Yes. Do people want to live there in those houses? Uh, everybody's different. Everybody's different. For the most part, no. Because it depends where exactly. If you have a cluster of homes that are all intact, then most likely you'd want to stay in the same area. Every lot's cleaned up. You'll see some more on this side. You'll see a note on every building that has the Army Corps of Engineers. They came, they wrote the address, because right now there's no buildings left, so nobody knows what address anything is anymore. Oh, it's wow. just a piece of land. So they came and marked out every single building. Army Corps of Engineers came and did That's this. That's insane, because otherwise you don't know. You won't know. You won't know. Everything just looks like a cluster of you know, debris. Yeah, because you just you see the number on the house normally. Yeah. This 
This is Caruso's building. Caruso hired a uh, private, what do you call it? Oh, fire private department. firefighters. So he's the only structure that survived over here. Wow. At least one of the only structures that survived. So where are we now? Uh, we're driving down the PCH right now. Um, and we had, we're almost in Malibu. We're pretty much in the, I think we're in Malibu, I'm not sure. Um, but there was a lot of houses all along the coastline, uh, basically all burned down. Before, when you were driving over here, you couldn't even see the ocean. And now with all the houses gone, you can see everything. You're right, you couldn't see the you ocean. You couldn't see the ocean at all. You would see all the houses. All houses. If you actually like walk down over here, you'll, well here you can actually see the ocean, but back there and around there you couldn't. But you'll see like the remnants of the structures if you walk to the coastline. When it first, when the fire first happened and I came out here, you would see cars lined up all of PCH. Burnt? But burnt, burnt. All of them burnt or some were just also? No, burnt, like this, like this. Once the fire hits, they're not moving the car anymore and it's all gonna take flame. Every car would look like no, this? Every car would look like this or worse, or worse. But it, three months later, they cleaned a lot of them up. Look, so, I can see there's like wires and stuff. Is this yeah, kind of dangerous place. to walk here? It's dangerous, mostly because there's little nails all over the place. Okay. When the house is built, there's thousands of little nails. The nails don't burn. Millions of little nails that okay. might get into your foot. So like this, for example, you'll see one right there. You'll see them everywhere. Oh, wow. Nail, nail. So you just got to be careful walking all over the place. And glass. Look, I can see and some glass. glass here. But mostly nails. I had so many nails stuck to my shoe. Really? Yeah, so many. Look, there's glass everywhere. Here, I'll... Just by looking down, I'll find like 50. Well, whatever, I don't know. Maybe I'm not gonna find 50. Well, you found one. I found one. All right, so look at this car here. What kind of car is it? Well, it looks like a Beetle. It's just insane the level of which it's destroyed. No, I mean, look yeah. at it. Yeah, everything is gone. Everything's gone but the metal frame. Sad. They were running away so fast they couldn't even take their car. Jeez. But so what, they were running on foot? No, no, people have multiple cars. This is Malibu. Okay. So they took one car, they couldn't come back to save the other car. Of course. It smells nice here, right? Like, do you yeah. think that's the benefit of working here? So it, it smells nice now, but it doesn't have the fire smell. Not it, anymore. It but did before. It even did here? before. It did before. Even by the ocean, even by the ocean, that you have that ocean smell. It, it's still the the fire smell. It was overpowering. They say the beach is closed because so much debris went into the water and it's just dirty yeah. and disgusting now. Look, is that true? Come take a look. Okay. Well, let's just watch out for nails. For sure. Watch out for nails. And these but wires. look at all this, all this, uh, all the charcoal all the debris from the houses. When the rain comes, it all gets flushed down in there. It all gets flushed down. Oh so, yeah, I mean, where else would it go? Where else would it go? So for a good, a good amount of time, all this was polluted. It was polluted with trash. Yeah, if you look over here, this is all cleaned up. A month ago, two months ago, house, 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 you'll see burnt frames. Wait, I don't, there's something I don't understand. Tell me. How is this room for a property? Where's the property normally? So the property's built over here. This would be the driveway. You see the little, the curb? You see those small little curbs over here? Here. But, so where's, so the house is on the beach literally? The house is built on the beach. Come, one more time. Because just, can you try to explain how small this is? I mean, I don't see room for a house. Come here. Okay. Do you see these wood posts that yeah. are burnt in charcoal right now? Okay. All these guys? All these wood posts along the coastline? Yeah. Those were the, the, structures holding up the house. So the houses extend from this curb, look this curb, okay. all the way to those posts. That's where the house was. And it was built on a podium. It was built on top. Um, so the house was built on the podium up top. So you would drive in, park, walk into your front door, and the end of your house would be where the coastline is. So you would drive in, park exactly. here? Park, just like this car. Okay. You would park, open your door, and walk inside. Open your front door, and that would be your house. So your house is your house. sitting on the exactly. stilts. Exactly. Okay. It was sitting above ground on these stilts. But the water is like literally coming that close to your house? Yeah. That's the whole, that's, that was the whole appeal of living in Malibu, being right by the beach. You had your own little private beach over here. You wake up to the sounds of, uh, of waves crashing. You don't think that's too close? I mean, look how close No, that's it's good. I mean, the waves are going under your house too, no? Uh? They're going under your house too? 
Yeah, the way it's going to your house too. But, these but houses, you're above ground. You're these above. houses were stable? Yeah, they were fine. They were good. But it, I mean, I still... wouldn't design, these ones weren't, these ones weren't good. They no. built it out of posts. I don't like that. It's probably an older house. But the ones over but there. How do you get a strong foundation for these? You build deep. So you just, you dig underground. Those are better, they have concrete. Concrete, much better. These are newer ones. These newer ones, I mean, I'm sorry, these are older ones. These are these older, older ones. ones uh, those are the newer those ones. Those are the better ones, exactly. But, exactly. but still, this is small. I mean, can you just explain how small this is? Like, it's not that small, it's actually no? pretty good. You have about 50 feet from here to there. So you have 50 foot by, let's say, 100 foot. You have 5,000 square feet. Oh, it's okay. pretty good. It looks small because, I think it looks small because when you don't see it constructed. Exactly, it just when, looks like land. When you see it constructed, you go in, then, then even then it seems small until you get furniture. Exactly. And it's 5,000 square feet. Exactly. That's 500 square meters, roughly. Yeah, it's pretty big. Th that's that's a not lot. bad. Okay. It's pretty big. It's decent sized. 5,000 square feet is a lot, actually. Wow. It just, it just looks. It looks, it looks like small. a small studio. It apartment. looks like open air. You, yeah, you exactly. Can't tell. Yeah, I got you. Wow. Dude, that's insane, because you can the see guy the couldn't even, in the back. He couldn't even save his car, no, his Porsche. Yeah, his Porsche. <laughs> This is just insane. I mean, what, how did this all stay? Huh? How did this all stay? Well, I mean, this house is built with steel frames. Uh, steel won't burn during the fires. Okay. Uh, the way that architect probably designed this house was open frame, open floor plan all over the place. Um, so the engineer designed it in a way that it's all steel framed all around. But can you with explain no walls this in between. a little bit more? Like these steel bars are going into the ground. Uh, well, you have two systems. You have beams and you have posts. Okay. Okay. All the horizontal members going, uh, you know, going this way horizontally, they're beams. The ones going vertically are posts. The posts hold up the beams, okay. and the posts are the ones that transfer the weight to the foundations. Wow. And those big giant concrete uh, circles over here that you see, they're the foundations. When they rebuild this, do you think they'll keep all this? Um, probably. Can they? Is it structurally sound? To keep this? You need to have testing done on it. Um, obviously, the ones that are bent, like yeah. this one, are not structurally sound. It'll need to be replaced. Okay. The ones that are straight could possibly be uh, kept. Yeah. But the problem is, this house was built in a time period where the code was different. So now that we design these structures, we have to design it for today's code. Yeah. Meaning that these steel beams can possibly not be good enough. Oh. Also, you see, I just noticed that that's like part of the balcony. That's yeah, that was a railing. railing. That was a railing for it, exactly. Well, luckily, nobody fell in there. But yeah, look, these steel beams look nice and strong, but the only way to do it is to reanalyze it. If the architect designed the exact same building, we can use the same beams. But if they want a different floor plan, it's going to be different, different structural members all around. Complete. But that's a lot of work to take out these beams. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Because again, these beams are going, aren't yeah. they going, like for example, aren't these beams going inside? Yeah, yeah, so they're this, going inside, exactly. Yeah, is we have, this ground part of the foundation here? This ground is not part of the foundation, but the edge of it is. The edge of the ground is. You okay. can see, if, I don't know if you want to step over here. I kind of don't, but okay. <laughs> you can see the edge. Here, let me, let me point it out to you guys. This edge over here, this edge over here, that's where your foundation is. You see these steel members? These steel members are holding up uh, the structure and connecting it to your retaining wall that's also acting as a foundation. This is just absolutely insane. Fast pass, baby. <laughs> <laughs>
the cross. So explain to me about the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Um, so why are these if you, it, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers signs everywhere? Well, let me let me tell you this. Um, if you owned a house and you want to find your house, how would you find your house? You find your house by knowing the way it looks or knowing where your neighbor's houses are. When you're coming into a fire zone like this, everything is destroyed. There's, it's just a road of nothingness. So you wouldn't know where your house was if you were driving down the road. So the Army Corps of Engineers came and put a sign stating what the address is for every lot. That way, if you're a homeowner, you would know where your house is. Wow. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of signs. That's a lot of signs, 20,000 altogether. And they got the APN number, which is like every, the yeah, yeah. number of the deed with the recorder's office. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it'll be kind of sad if they put a wrong, wrong address, they messed up, and all of a sudden you're building a new house on oh. somebody else's lots. <laughs> That'll be a problem. Can but you imagine? Imagine. Look at some of this debris here. What does this look like? It looks like uh, they're trying to salvage as much as they can, putting it all together. Whoever did the demolition work, uh, demolition, the, yeah, demolition work, I guess. Just put everything in one pile together over here. But this it looks, looks like city, city, city equipment. Okay. You have stop sign, not no stop signs, but you have some electrical equipment. Let's go down. Let's go down to the beach. Come. Okay. This is a public access. This was public access. So every every like certain amount of uh, I don't know, I guess a mile, a mile or so, will give you an access point to come to the beach. Because this is public beaches at the end of the day. But I'm sure these homeowners were not happy at the end of the day. <laughs> they right? were not happy. I'm, I'm sure they didn't like They didn't want people. Okay. But at the same time, if I was trying to come to the beach, I wouldn't come to this beach. Look at all the rocks. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? Surf over here and get your head smashed? Like, yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, like, what can you do here? Yeah, I mean, exactly. You can't even lay you down. You can't here. do anything over here. The whole situation is sad. That's basically it. I don't know what to say. I mean, this whole area is either going to be rebuilt or we're going to have to, I don't know, do something, do something with it. I don't know. Seth. Thank you for watching the video. We hope it was interesting for you. If you liked the video, please click the subscribe button below. Stay tuned for the next part of this video where we'll show you a house that was burned down next to a lot that's ready for construction and discuss what it takes to get your house rebuilt. Yeah, it's a guardrail over there. It wasn't a balcony, it was more of a deck where you're gonna find out if the foundation is gonna be expensive or not. Yeah, it's too much fires. It, even if they had enough wire, just too much, too, too hard to get in here with the fire trucks. Yeah. For the next 10 years, this area is gonna be built, maybe even longer. Some structures are gonna start right away. I'm even getting some plans right now.